What if I told you you could have a complete head tracking setup for both Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and 2024 simply using the camera on your smartphone with a budget of just £12.99? It's got to be worth a look at, right? So that's what we're going to be doing today. And the footage you're watching now is captured using a phone app called Smooth Track 2 and a bit of free PC software called OpenTrack. So let's hop out the sim and show you guys what you need to get this up and running. So just before we start, this isn't a sponsored video or anything, just my own opinions, and as I mentioned in the intro, to be able to do this there are a couple of bits of software you're going to need. Firstly, you'll need to purchase the SmoothTrack 2 app, which is available for both Android and iOS on your phone, and at the time of recording that cost me £12.99. Then secondly, you'll need to download a bit of freeware to your PC called OpenTrack, and I'll put a link to that in the description below. And that's essentially what allows your phone's camera to interact with the PC and ultimately the sim. So let's first of all take a look at open track then. And there we go, when you first open up you're greeted by this little pink friendly octopus. And I will say from the outset this isn't that straightforward to set up and you'll need to follow the instructions in the phone app quite carefully. Uh, alternatively there is also a really cool video on the Smooth Track website detailing everything you need to do which is what I followed and it worked pretty well but yeah just thought I'd point that out there is a bit of fiddling involved to get it up and running uh, once you've done it though that's it you're all good to go so let's take a look at a couple of options that you want to set up it's really important to bind a key to recenter your view sometimes the view goes a bit wayward uh, when you start the phone up so assign a hotkey for that and I've also set a hotkey to toggle head tracking as you hold it. That's quite cool if you want to keep the camera still if you're looking at a particular panel or display. And then finally, I've bound a key to start and stop open track. Just make sure you don't bind any keys that clash with anything in the sim. Uh, so that's it for our options. The only other setting you might want to tweak are the mapping curves, and this is just like tweaking your sensitivities in the sim. I've pretty much left everything on default except for the pitch setting, which I've changed to 45 degrees, and that just feels a bit more natural when you look up and down. And that is pretty much it, so let's hit the start button. Uh, don't worry about the no video message, that's normal, it just means open tracks ready to receive our phone camera. And let's get the Smooth Track app open on our phone, hit the play button, and there we go, the pink octopus has gone a bit crazy, so we'll recenter him. And this should all work now. So if I look to my left, like that, you can see the octopus look around, back to center, and to the right, and up, and down. How cool is that? So yeah, Open Track is following all my movements. It can lean side to side. In fact, if I mirror that, it will match what we're looking at on my phone screen. So yeah, really, really cool. Aside from it looking a little bit sinister, um, it works like a charm. So let's hop back over into the sim and have a look at it in action then, shall we? Right, so we've currently got the sim paused and the plan is we'll do a bit of a low level flyby over central London. So let's get the Smooth Track app on screen. There we go. And we will unpause the sim then. There we go and I'll hit the play button on smooth track and again we'll have to recenter our view uh, there we go so as I now start moving my head to look around the flight deck the smooth track app sends a signal to open track which in turn controls the movement within the sim which is absolutely superb uh, we can look left we can lean forward so I could take a look at the tablet and obviously you need your phone fairly square on in front of you on a stand or something. I've got mine stood on my Boeing Thrustmaster yoke. You can also add a manual offset by swiping down on your phone just to lower the camera a touch. That looks a little bit more natural to me as I sort of lean forward over the dashboard. That is so cool. And if we take a look up, we can check out our overhead panel. Uh, press any buttons or switches needed. Uh, we can also look down at the pedestal and I have to say the more I'm sort of looking round it's becoming quite intuitive you sort of get a grasp for where you're supposed to look I can sit back in my chair lean forward and in fact if I lean over to where my wing wing FCU is situated just to the right of my monitor that looks really good and let's take another look outside the captain's window across central London can just see the shard there very nice and let's lean back over towards my Win Wing FCU and we'll turn the heading bug left, get the 
plane turning in. Just see how that looks. And again, if we look at the tablet, and I'll have a go at pressing the hotkey to pause the tracking. There we go, you can just see that paused it. So, and that just allows you to focus on the screen without the camera moving around too much. Okay. So I think we can get rid of the smooth track window now. You kind of get the idea. And it is a lot more immersive without that little window up. So let's just continue to look around. Check our overhead panel. And whilst it is very, very cool looking around mid-flight like this, let's just uh, keep that heading bug turning in. Um, I'm not sure I'd use it for an entire flight. Now, I can imagine trying to set up all the uh, systems pre-flight might be quite tricky. But certainly with all the uh, hotkeys we've got set up, it's quite easy to switch. Oh look, there's the O2 Arena. Uh, yeah, it's quite easy to switch on and off at any point we want. So yeah, I'd definitely use it at various intervals during the flight, for sure. It is really, really cool. So I think I'll wrap it up there for today. That concludes my overview of the Smooth Track 2 head tracking app, along with Open Track for the PC. And I have to say, it works absolutely brilliantly. I love it. As I said, I probably wouldn't use it for an entire flight, but for taxiing, takeoff, and arrivals, it is superb and really comes into its own. And when you consider its main rival would be something like the Toby Eye Tracker, which retails at around £300, it's a bit of a no-brainer, really. There's no additional headset or uh, hardware you've got to purchase. Uh, and it's actually uh, really intuitive the more you use it, the more immersed you feel in the cockpit environment. So, yeah, uh, if you want to enhance your simming experience at £12.99, uh, it's definitely worth a look. So that's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to leave you with a bit more smooth track footage and if you did enjoy the video make sure you give it a like, subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Thanks very much for watching, bye bye.